नमस्ते प्रणाम गीता ध्यान ओ पार्थाय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणी स्वयं व्यासन ग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्ये महाभारत अद्वैता मृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायिनी अंबत्वासंदा भगवदगीते भवद्वेषिणी ओ भगवदगीता विच लॉर्ड नारायण हिमसेल्फ गेव इन लाइटमेंट टू पार्थ द एंशंट सेज व्यास इंक्लूडेड इट इन द महाभारत ओ गॉडेस शॉवर ऑफ द निक्टर लाइक नॉलेज ऑफ नॉन डियरिज्म कंटेंट इन युअर एटीन चैप्टर्स ओ माई एफेक्शनेट मदर द डिस्ट्रॉयर ऑफ री बर्थ आई मेडिटेट अपॉन दी कृष्ण वंदना वसुदेवसुत देव कंसचाणूर मर्दनम देवकी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गुर सन ऑफ वसुदेव द स्लेयर ऑफ कंस एंड चाणूर एक्सट्रीम डिलाइट फॉर मदर देव की ओ लॉर्ड कृष्णा द सुप्रीम टीचर ऑफ द यूनिवर्स माय सैल्यूटेशन टू यू श्रीमद भगवद गीता द श्रद्धात्रय विभाग योग सेवेंटीन अध्याय एंड श्री कृष्णा हैज जस्ट नाउ स्टार्टेड टेलिंग अस अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ द यज्ञास द सैक्रिफाइस द वर्शिप एक्ट्स दैट पीपल ऑफ डिफरेंट डिस्पोजिशंस पीपल विथ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ श्रद्धास दैट दिस हाउ दे परफॉर्म दीज सैक्रिफिशियल एक्ट्स ऑल्सो Uh, first shri krishna told us about the satvika uh, uh, type of uh, yajna that uh, satvika type of uh, sacrifice which uh, people endowed with the satvika shraddha they are performing shri krishna says this sacrifice uh, the satvika type of uh, yajna is when one performs this yajna the satvika type there is no intent of getting anything in return the the focus is not at all uh, on to the fruit of the performance of that yajna it is just to please the lord it is just for the adoration of the lord that 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 the yajna is being performed without uh, uh, any motive in mind without any uh, uh, desire for any fruit and when that kind of uh, yajna that kind of uh, ritual is performed the person performing is fully involved in doing that we with the body and mind and spirit as if complete uh, uh, dedication in performing that there is no other thought the mind while performing it the mind doesn't uh, get scattered here and there so shri krishna says that is the type of uh, uh, service like uh, uh, the the mother uh, uh, serves her child without any motive without any uh, expectation for that somebody will give me a reward hmm? without any expectation somebody will praise me oh look how nicely she is serving her child she serves the child just for the love of the child a devotee serves the lord just for the love of lord a devotee uh, serves the deity just for the love of the duty and there is no return gift expected out of it no return fruit expected while doing that particular type of uh, 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 sacrificial act and shri krishna says such act is satvika in nature now let us see what is rajasika yajna hmm? as uh, described by shri krishna in this 12th shlok that we are going to read the for 11th shlok we read last he clearly mentioned that that yajna is aphala अफल आकांक्षी भी यज्ञ विधि दृष्टो यज्जते द वन विच इज परफॉर्म बाय द परफॉर्मर विदाउट द द द सैक्रिफिशियल एक्ट द यज्ञ विच इज परफॉर्म बाय द परफॉर्मर विदाउट एनी डिजायर फॉर द फ्रूट यष्टव्यमे वेति मनः समाधाय द माइंड इज टोटली इमर्स्ड इन दैट एक्ट द माइंड डजंट गेट स्कैटर्ड हियर एंड देयर स सात्विक दैट यज्ञ इज सात्विक यज्ञ नाउ लेट अस सी वॉट श्री कृष्ण टेल्स अबाउट द राजसिक टाइप ऑफ यज्ञ 
अभिसंधायतु फलम दम्भार्थम चयत इज्जते भरत श्रेष्ठ तम यज्ञ विधि राजसम ओ भरत श्रेष्ठ श्री कृष्ण इज एड्रेसिंग अर्जुन इज भरत श्रेष्ठ द सुप्रीम मोस्ट अमंग द डिसेंडेंट्स ऑफ भरत ऑफ दिस क्लैन ऑफ द कुरूज ऑफ द पांडवाज अमंग अमंग पांडवाज अमंग कौरवाज दे आर ऑल दे दे आर ऑल डिसेंडेंट्स फ्रॉम दैट ग्रेट माइटी किंग भरत एंड श्री कृष्ण से इज यू आर द बेस्ट अमंग द भरत the best among the descendants of the bharat oh bharat shreshtha the supreme most descendant of that great king bharat he says now i am going to tell you about what is known as the rajasik yagna abhisandhaya tu phalam that which is performed seeking some fruit there is a desire i should get this there is a desire that i should possess this there is a desire that this should be the outcome of this act that i am performing abhisandhaya tu phalam dambhartham api chaivayat even even that act even that act is performed with the kind of uh, intention of ostentation that self pride that self uh, 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 pro- proliferation that i am doing it people should know that people should say that oh this person has done it so this is all in the, in a hypocritic manner just for the ostentation just for the show off there is no real intent there is no uh, 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 the the uh, humbleness there is no humility involved in performing that act it is done in moment of arrogance in moment of pride with the feeling of i am doing it that people should uh, talk about it i have done it ijjate bharata shreshta tam yajnam vidhi rajasam the the yajna the sacrifice performed in this manner hmm? uh, shri krishna says o bharata shreshta tam yajnam vidhi rajasam no for sure that that type of yajna is rajasic type of yajna one which is first of all there is definite desire for a fruit why should i perform any act if i am not going to be rewarded hmm? that is simple logic that people uh, they have uh, while performing any act there is no act that is being done in the selfless manner for that matter that is the rajasic way of doing the things there is no uh, the, 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 i mean the rajasic work rajasic type of uh, sacrifice rajasic type of yagna has got no selflessness attached to it it is all the dambha it is all the ostentation it is all the self importance and this is how this uh, the, the entire uh, uh, intent of the performance of that sacrifice is in getting name and fame in getting some fruits getting some rewards that is the intent and shri krishna says any yajna done in this manner o arjuna o shreshth among the bharatas hmm? o supreme most among the descendants of bharat this act is known as the rajasic act it is no true worship which is done in a bartering spirit any worship any worship which is done lord you give me this i will offer this that is nothing but a business that is a bartering but the real worship does not involve any of such bartering acts there is no focus on fruits of uh, 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 the performing that act there is no desire for any fruits it is done just for the sake of adoration of the beloved it is done just for the uh, adoration of the chosen deity the ishta devata there is no give and take that is the real ghee that is the real sacrifice but the rajasic type of sacrifice i am doing this i must get this that is the uh, the the, the uh, desire for the fruit of performing that action the moment that desire for fruit comes the quality of yagna becomes inferior 
when it is performed without any desire for fruit it is a satvika yajna but the moment an element of desire for a fruit gets attached to that performance it loses its satvikness and it falls and then the the objective of that uh, yajna again is not selfless it is not done in a selfless spirit it is done in the dambhik spirit it is done as an ostentation it is done to earn name and fame oh people should glorify me with that object and again there is that downgradation of the 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 real uh, selfless spirit of that yajna the selfless spirit of that sacrifice and then the yajna it kind of downgrades into becoming a rajasik yajna because there is expectation because there is ostentation a man offers an oblation to the lord and appeals to him for a favor or mercy or a miraculous cure for a disease or give me job or give me this give me that i mean that is kind of the business that uh, the, the rajasik people they 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 uh, uh, do while performing any kind of spiritual act there is another man who offers worship for a show for advertisement for getting name and fame for you know the selfies for self glorification in done in an ostentatious manner all these forms of worship are of rajasic nature so shri krishna says this is uh, be, 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 be careful about uh, how the sacrifice is being done if it is done now this type of sacrifice definitely doesn't have any kind of compliance with the scriptural injunctions but then the intent is also not pure the intent is also mixed with some expectations the intent is mixed with self glorification the in intent is on getting name and fame or intent is just to do it for a show off if that is the thing it cannot be called as a true spiritual act it cannot be called as a true yajna or a true sacrifice so this type of uh, any sacrifice which is done just as an ostentation with focus on fruit uh, desiring for the fruit after performing that action that uh, act it doesn't have any high rating for that matter and it gets into the category of being rajasik yajna which is done only for ostentation which is done only for the name sake and unlike the satvika yajna where shri krishna says that the the, the uh, performer he is whole heartedly involved in performing that yashtavya mai veti manah samadhaya that is how that satvika yajna is done but the rajasik yajna is with the performed with the intention of dambha dambha artham api Hmm? that uh, ostentation that uh, self glorification that has to happen at the end of the yajna that is the intention of the performer of that kind of uh, sacrificial act or even that kind of a spiritual act so shri krishna says now after having told about the satvika type of uh, uh, duties satvika type of uh, sacrificial acts now he explained to us what is the rajasik type of uh, uh, yajna rajasik type of sacrifice which is filled with self glorification and which is filled with the intent of getting something in return i am doing this i must get it so that act shri krishna says is the rajasik act and which is not rated very high in terms of uh, in the the it, its uh, positioning as the yajna satvika yajna is the supreme most the rajasik yajna just a mediocre i mean it is just an act for doing an act it is a sacrifice for just doing sacrifice there is no uh, involvement there is no commitment there is no dedication because it is done with that rajasik type of intention so that was the 12th shloka of the 17th adhyay of shraddhatre vibhag yoga om namo bhagavate vasudevaya shri krishna arpanamastu jai shri ram krishna जय ठाकुर जय मां जय स्वामी जी